guys, so this video is going to be a little haul because um, my last video I did a haul but it was like fashion related so now it's going to be all the other stuff. So I feel like this is very typical beauty haul kind of. So I've got David's Tea, I have Bath and Body Works and then last week, okay so <laughs> actually last week I was supposed to film this video right after I filmed the other one but I had to leave for Messina, we went shopping to the States. Um, just for like a few hours, but we went to TJ Maxx. So I have a few things from TJ Maxx because I didn't have time to film So now I'm filming it today. So Yeah, I have a few things from there and then winners. So it's mostly beauty and Bath and Body Works and David T as I said So I'm gonna start with Bath and, Bath and Body Works. So right now it's the semi-annual sale So a lot of stuff um, is really discounted. So that's pretty good But the first two things I'm actually gonna show you are pretty old um like a month old, but I still wanted to show you them because one of the candles I bought, I'm gonna repurchase this one. So the first one, Island Margarita. I re as you can see, I burnt quite a lot of it, and it's the first time I'm actually burning my candles. Usually, I don't really buy them, and I don't really burn them either. So I, I don't know, but this one smells really, really good, and I don't know. It's my favorite of like the two that I bought on uh, that time. Um. It smells, it's not too sweet, it's kind of a like a perfect mix between salty and sweet. I don't know, I really like this one and I really recommend it. And um, right now candles are $12.95, $12.50 I believe in Canada. So, well actually I have a receipt here. So candles are no, eight, oh, eight, eleven twenty five in Canada. But I bought these two like a month ago, it was two for 30 I think. And then the other one I got is... Bahama, Bahama Fizz, yeah. This one is really, really sweet. So if you don't like really, really sweet um, scented things, then I don't really recommend this one, but it does smells really good. It smells like a candy, a really creamy candy, kind of. You know those, like, I don't remember the brand, but it's, like, red and cream, kind of. It kind of tastes like a cream, whatever. So anyways, um, this one smells really good too, but I'm definitely going to repurchase this one. Okay, now, um, these are actually things that I got during the sale. I didn't get too many things because I didn't want to go overload there. Overload. I didn't want to, like, go crazy because I want to actually buy things that I use. So I got this, um, scrub, scrub, this, um... It's a glowing body scrub. So it's Belly Mango the scent. And actually when I looked at my receipt, that was seven dollars. I thought it was three because I think it said on the sign it was three three dollars. But I think only certain things were um that price. So it smells good, but I only wanted like body scrub because I use salt right now to like scrub my legs before I uh, shave them or it's sugar. It works really, really well, but this is actually a bit more convenient than um salt or sugar so yeah I bought this it smells really good but I don't want to buy like the lotion and all that because I have like a good lotion body lotion because Bath and Body Works um, lotions aren't really good for your skin so I only bought the scrub and then um, I was almost out of my because I have a bathroom in my bedroom so I like to have a soap hand wash hand soap for my bathroom. So I got this one. This is Island Margarita. It doesn't smell the same way as my candle, but I mean, it's pretty close and I feel like your hands need to like smell really clean and this is a really clean scent and I'm excited to use this. I haven't used any of this yet. Um, and then, and oh, the soap was three. Yeah, $3. So that's pretty good. And, and it lasts for a long time too. And then the last thing I got is a candle. So I got gelato. gelato. Yeah. Um, it smells really, really good. It's really sweet, definitely. Um, but not, like, I feel like this kind of makes me feel a little bit sick after a while. But I don't think this one is going to do the same thing. So, yeah, it smells really good, too. And I haven't burned it yet, so I can't really tell you how it smells in the room. But I'm excited to burn it. So, okay, next I'm going to do, I guess, David's Tea. So it was actually my first time going in a David's Tea because I went shopping to Carrefour Laval last week, I think. And they have a David's Tea there. But in 
the malls I usually go to that are easily accessible to me because I don't have a car so I can't go too far but with the bus I take the bus so with the bus I can go to a certain mall that has it's actually my favorite mall so that's pretty good for me but anyways um and there's no David's Tea there so there's one but I would have to walk I don't know where it's exactly anyways um it's actually pretty inexpensive compared to Tivana because the first time my dad and I actually went and bought some tea at Tivana, it was like $92 and we only had two like things like that, but they were pretty big, but still $92 for tea. I mean, it's pretty crazy. But um, this time at David's Tea, um, this one, I got Tropicalia. Tropicalia, that sounds kind of funny. Um, actually, Alexandra, uh, Alex Fashion Beauty, if you um, speak French, then you probably know her videos. Uh, know her from her videos anyways um she talked about this tea quite a lot so quite a lot i don't know quite a lot but i don't know i know she mentioned it so um i smelled it and it smelled really really good so i decided to try it and i really do like it so that was 9.99 that's pretty good um it's a it's a fruit infusion and it's a 2.5 ounce and then um, there was a sale going on, I believe. Um, it was you buy five. Ooh. You got to choose. Yeah, five of these little packs, and it was five for fifteen. So that's pretty good. Um, so I choose pretty much all of them. So this one is green and fruity. This is a rooibos, right? Rooibos. I don't know how you really um, say this in English, but um, and this one has. 1.1 ounce but it's just to try it you know to see which one I really like and then I tried the rest of them so this is mango fruit punch I really like this one and then oh this one I'm actually drinking it right now this is a white tea and it's coconut grove looks like this and then I also tried pink passion fruit this is a fruit and fruit in fruit infusion as well and then I have mint julep. Oh, and this is a black tea. And so yeah, those were three for fifteen. And right now I've been really liking doing um, iced tea. So what I I don't know if it, it's the proper way to do it, but I just because when I go to second cup I order a iced tea whatever. Um, this is how they do it. They just make the tea hot and then they just. I put ice in this and then I just pour my hot tea in it so yeah that's how I do it um right now I'm drinking coconut grove and it's iced and this little tumbler thing I got this at winners recently it was only $4.99 and I like it because it's doubled it's doubled there's like actually two layers so um there's no condensa condensation and it's pink so it's pretty cute and it's really good yeah, I put a little bit of um, sugar in it, but it's really, really good. It kind of tastes like coconut water, which I only taste coconut water once. Um, I heard it was pretty good, and I, I got mine at the dollar store because I was just there buying gum, and I saw it, and I was like, oh, I'm going to try it. Maybe it was not the best one to try out, but I really did not like it. First of all, it was hot. It was not, like, in a fridge or something, so that's probably why I didn't like it. But kind of tastes the same way, but it's... This is way better, so yeah. Okay, so now, moving on, I'm gonna do whatever, just the rest that I have. Okay, so, first out winners, I got a BB cream, so this is the Maybelline BB cream, and I got this before, and I paid like $8.99, but um, this time at winners, it was only $3.99, $3.99, so I thought that was pretty good, but, so I tried it before, so I kind of knew what to expect, but... I don't know, I kind of forgot how, how sheer it was. So it's pretty, pretty sheer. Um, pretty, pretty sheer. So, yeah, but it's still good for the summer and stuff. So I got that, and this is, I guess, the lightest sh shade. I cannot speak. This is probably the lightest shade. So, yeah. Okay, and then I winners as well. I really like winners, especially recently. I don't know, I went the other day with my mom, and we kind of went a little crazy. Um, so I got these brushes, and they were only $9.99, comparable to $16. And I've seen this kit at Walmart, but it was $16. But at winner, it's only $9.99. So it's Eco Tools, and there's actually... I got this because of, first of all, this brush. 
because it's the first time I'm seeing a really good blending brush in a drugstore. So I really want to get the 117 brush from MAC. But whatever, this one seems pretty similar. Um, but actually, I really, really like, I really like this one. But I actually really like that one too. So I'm really glad because this is like perfect to, um, it's like the perfect angle and it's fluffy to create like a nice shape eyeshadow shape whatever um so yeah and then i have those little two ones this is just good to apply shadow underneath um your lash line and also on the top because i don't use eyeliner but i'll just like use this to i use black shadow just to create kind of eyeliner and then this is really good i actually own a color tattoo in tough as taupe and i do this when i just want to touch up my makeup at night if i'm just going somewhere on the go and I just want to add a little something. This is really good for that because usually I have my color tattoo in my purse. So that's kind of good. And then this one, I'm actually really happy about this one. Um, I actually use this for my concealer. So I'm going to show you the concealer I got recently. I got, this is from MAC. This is the Pro Long Wear Concealer. And I, first when I got it, I did not like it at all because it was way too dark for me, I felt like. And I felt like it was not really blendable. It didn't really blend easily and I just didn't like it so I returned it actually because I said I asked the girl I was like is this really the right color for me and then she said yeah she tried it on me and it looked really fine really nice but when I tried it at home it looked awful so I'm like okay I don't like this but it's $20 I think 22 not really sure and it has a pump which I'm gonna talk about this in a little bit but anyways I was using this I got this elf little brush I don't like it at all. At first I was like, oh, it works well, but it's really, I don't like it at all. So when I stopped using this and actually used this, I really started liking my concealer. So it, especially um, when I was doing my makeup earlier, I really noticed I put um, some concealer on this eye and then I really noticed the big difference. So it covers up really well. And also the girl at Mac told me that she really likes it because it stays on a long time. So especially she was like, you know, me, I need a really long lasting concealer because she works all day. And I do the same uh, when I work all day. I don't have time to touch up my makeup. So that's pretty good. Um, especially with like the lights in a store, kind of your makeup can, may look bad at the end of the day. But I feel like this last a really long time like at the end of the day i still have my concealer on so that's pretty good but anyways for the pump thing um i feel like on youtube everybody's like goes crazy goes everybody's like oh my gosh it has a pump but actually i really don't like when it has a pump i, I think one person went like oh it has a pump it's so convenient and then everybody started thinking that having a pump on a concealer or foundation is the most convenient thing actually it's super inconvenient because i don't have like eyes big like this so I don't need that much concealer but when I squeeze this pump this a lot I kind of lose some product because I don't need that much I don't know it's really inconvenient for me and but whatever everybody's saying that it's so convenient but it's actually not so yeah anyways for me okay so now but yeah I ended up really liking the concealer so okay now I have a baby lips I seen those at winners too they were only $3.99 I think at Walmart and Winners they actually sell it for the same price, so whatever, but um, I'm actually pretty... Oh, well, I used this really quickly. Um, this is just the new one, and it smells really good, but it doesn't taste good, so that's the only thing. <laughs> okay, now from Winners again, I got the Batiste Dry Shampoo because everybody seemed to really, really like it. Um, it's actually my first time trying dry shampoo, so I don't really know. I have nothing to compare this one to. Um, but I didn't get this, actually when I bought this, my brother brother was like, oh my gosh, this is so disgusting, you're like not going to wash your hair, because one of his friends actually bought, uses dry shampoo to basically wash her hair, so he was like, it's so disgusting, and it's all white in her hair and stuff. Anyways, um, my brother seems really mean, but he's not, he's actually really sweet, but he was just like, this is disgusting, you're not going to wash your hair. But I'm, I don't use this to like skip washes, um, washes? washes yeah whatever I just use it to add more volume and I feel like it works really well um so yeah and it smells really good too I put some in my hair today and so yeah it just smells good and it adds a bit of volume and that's the main reason I got it um it was ten dollars and now it's at winners it was 7.99 and it's just the original 
classic and clean, clean and classic scent. Okay, now still from Winners. I actually my mom got this, but I'm using it, so I'm still gonna show you. This is the still from Winners Macadamia Macadamia Natural Oil. I have the shampoo. We're pretty much out of it, which is crazy. We just got it. Um, it was comparable to twenty one dollars, and at Winners it was fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. And this is the nourishing leave-in cream. So that was comparable comparable to twenty eight. And at Winners it's only sixteen ninety nine. So I told my mom it was like miraculous and blah blah blah. And actually, I never tried any of anything from this brand, but I was really excited because, especially, I think the mask is really good. But these, I'm not too impressed. Um, I don't know. I'm not too impressed. So it's color safe, sulfate free, paraben free. So I don't know, I heard so many people rave about this brand, so I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. But I don't know, I'm kind of disappointed a little bit. But um, the cream is still good. Yesterday I took my shower in the day, and then I washed my hair with this. And then I just, when I was done with my shower, I closed the water, whatever. And then, I'm sorry, my English vocabulary is um, becoming pretty poor. It was already poor, but now I just feel like it's way worse. Anyways. Um, I put this in my hair right after and then I got out of the shower and then put my hair in a towel and my hair felt really, really soft, but it was not miraculous, you know, so it's not the, like, anyways, I still like it, but I'm kind of disappointed a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to move on to stuff from TJ Maxx. It's pretty much over, so yeah. Okay, so first of all, I got this, um, perfume, which my parents got this for me one year at Christmas, like a while back um and i remember it was pretty expensive because i've seen it in stores but this at tj maxx it's the midnight fantasy from britney spears um it smells really good actually um it was only ten dollars so i remember when i was young i would like see it in store it was like 72 72 maybe i've seen that 72 i don't really i don't really remember oh my gosh but it smells really really good it's really warm and sweet it's the kind of scents i really like even though it's I was wearing this when I was like 13. It still smells really good. So, yeah. Anyways, it was only $10. Okay, now I didn't get too many things because I didn't want to go all crazy. Anyways, the TJ Maxx we went to, it was kind of disappointing. There was not a lot of stuff. So, anyways, I just got essentials kind of. Um, I really wanted some um, makeup remover wipes. I got these ones because I don't really never heard of that brand. But I got these because they seem pretty human when I like felt the packaging kind of. So it says comparable to six. I got it for three ninety nine, but whatever. Um, it says alcohol free, paraben free, and it's the brand Dead Sea, and it's makeup remover, Dead Sea Minerals, blah blah blah. Um, but they were pretty good actually. Um, they remove my makeup and even my waterproof mascara kind of but yeah I really like them and so yeah I mean they're not fantastic but they're pretty good they do the job okay now this is pretty boring but I just got this like cable to plug my iPhone in the car because we don't have that and I saw this it was pink and it was $5.99 so I decided to get it it's a universal audio cable so yeah Got that. And then the last thing I got is actually a Michael Kors iPhone case because I really needed a iPhone case. And my brother actually saw this for me. He was like, Chloe, I've got something for you. He didn't really say my name like that, but whatever. Um, it was 38 And then it looks like this. So this is my phone. I'm actually filming on my mom's iPhone today because mine is full. So when I'm filming, it like stops recording and blah. So I think this video is pretty long. I'm really sorry. So anyways, it looks like this. It's brown. It's not like the prettiest phone case, but I needed one and it's Michael Kors. So I don't know. I like it. Like I'm going to admit, I like it because it's Michael Kors, not really because the way it looks. Actually, Kate Spade um, iPhone case cases are really, really cute, but I feel like not a lot of people. Whatever. Okay, so yeah, Kate Spades are really cute. Kate Spade cases are really cute, but I feel like they had... Kate Spade, but I opted for the Michael Kors one, and it was only $14.99, so, yeah, so this is my haul, it was pretty long, I'm really sorry, a lot of rambling, but I hope you enjoy, um, prob I'm probably not gonna be making new hauls from now on, for like maybe two weeks, a week, 
I don't really know. But anyways, I shopped enough. So now um, I'm probably going to film another video. So if you see me, I hope I didn't have lipstick on my teeth. Probably. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye.